hive mind, in the distant future, humanity is divided into two distinct factions, the hive mind and the outliers. The hive mind is a powerful collective consciousness that spans the universe, controlling and manipulating the fate of all life. The outliers are those who have managed to hold onto their individuality, refusing to be assimilated into the hive mind's hive mentality. It is up to the player to decide who to side with. Will you join the hive mind and help them spread their influence? Or will you stand with the outliers and fight for freedom? Chapter 1 The Decision You stand on top of a hill gazing out over a vast landscape. To the east, you can see the oceans of the outer rim planets and to the west lie the forests of the inner planets. The view is interrupted by a ship hovering in the sky, its engines radiating a bright light. It is the Hive Mind Cruiser, a towering symbol of the power and control of the collective conscious. You know you have a decision to make. Do you join the Hive Mind and let go of your individual identity, or do you stand with the outliers and remain distinct? You take a deep breath and prepare to make your choice. Chapter 2 Battle for Freedom You choose to stand with the outliers, determined to fight for individual freedom against the Hive Mind. As you rally the outliers together, you can feel a unity of purpose like never before. You know that together you must face the overwhelming might of the Hive Mind Cruiser, and although the odds are against you, you prepare to march forward. The air is heavy with anticipation as you descend upon the cruiser. As you draw closer, you can see the large number of mechanized soldiers clambering inside, ready to do battle. Armed with advanced weaponry and technology, they appear to have the advantage. But you have an advantage of your own, an unyielding spirit to fight for what is right. Chapter 3 The Weak Spot You know that you have to find a weak spot in the cruiser's defenses if you're going to have any chance of success. You huddle with the other outliers, scouring the cruiser for weaknesses. After a few minutes, one of the outliers discovers a small section of the hull that appears to be weaker than the rest. It's visible enough to attack, but hidden enough that it could be easily defended. You decide to focus your efforts on this weak spot. You gather the outliers and take up positions outside the cruiser. With your advanced weapons, you begin to launch a continuous barrage of attacks against the weak spot. You can see that the attacks are slowly weakening the hull, but it's still not enough to break through. Suddenly, you hear a loud explosion from inside the cruiser. You peer inside to see smoke pouring out from where you believe the weak spot is located. You keep attacking and soon the hull gives in, leaving a massive gaping hole. The outliers let out a cheer as their freedom is within reach. Now the big challenge is to get through the hole and into the cruiser before the hive mind realize what's going on. You take a deep breath and take a step forward. Chapter 4 Infiltration You wave your team forward, issuing a silent signal so they know what you expect of them. As they crawl towards the hole, they stay close to the shadows, careful to avoid the attention of any patrolling sentries. You take up a defensive position at the entrance, ready to move in if anything goes wrong. Your team makes it through the hole but you wait for their signal, ready for anything and everything. As you prepare to move, an alarm blares and you just barely have time to duck out of sight. You wait, feeling the vibrations of the alarm in your bones, your heart hammering in your chest. After a few minutes the alarm dies down and you step back up to the hole. You peer inside, but all is quiet. The outliers have made it and now your team just needs to make it back out. You give a few signals to let your team know it's time to move. They move as quietly as possible, slowly making their way back to your position. As they come out of the hole, their faces show the relief they feel. Your mission is a success, but your work is not done yet. Now it's time to decide your next move. Chapter 5 Exploring the Cruiser You and your team creep silently through the halls of the cruiser. Everything is dark and still, except for a few distant chirps from the onboard computer systems. You make your way cautiously, trusting that no one will be around to witness your intrusion. Eventually you come to a large, ornately decorated chamber. It seems to be the ship's main command center. 
You pause studying the various control panels and computer terminals. You can hear the humming of the ship's engines which tells you the cruiser is still active and searching for another target. You realize that this is your chance to sabotage the ship and end the hive mind's reign of terror. But before you can act, you hear footsteps coming from the hall outside. There is no time to think and you must make a decision quickly. Do you hide or confront? Chapter 6 Confrontation You steal yourself, drawing a deep breath and holding your ground as the footsteps get louder. Soon, a figure steps into the chamber. It's an alien of some kind, humanoid in shape but not in color. Its skin is a deep purple with flecks of silver. So you're the one who's been causing trouble for us, it says, a glint in its eye. You won't get away with this, it growls, taking a step closer. Your heart races, but you can't back down now. You know only one of you can walk out of this room alive. Do you fight and chance it, or do you ignore the hostility and try to talk it out? Chapter 7 Showdown You grab the nearest object, a large metal bowl, and heft it in defense. The alien stares at you for a moment before letting out a loud, harsh laugh. You think this will save you. It says incredulously, stepping closer. You feel a chill of fear run through you, but you stand firm. Leave now and there won't be any trouble, you say, your voice trembling only slightly. The alien's eyes narrow. Without warning, it lunges forward, raising its arm to strike. You dodge its attack, narrowly avoiding the hard blow. Dodging and ducking, you manage to land several hits on the alien, but it doesn't seem to be enough. It's stronger and faster than you, and you can barely keep up with its assaults. You're about to give up when suddenly, the alien freezes in place. You take the opening and strike, hard, and it crumples to the ground with a loud thud. You take a quick look around. You can either stand and fight, or turn and run. Do you stay and fight for your freedom, or flee as quickly as you can? Chapter 8, A Vicious Escape You make up your mind quickly and turn to run. You know that the hive mind agents could be upon you any second, so you need to make your escape as quickly as possible. You sprint with all your might, dodging obstacles and weaving around the tight alleyways. As you run, you can feel the hive mind's agents getting closer and closer. You will not be able to hold them off for very long. Suddenly, you run into a dead end and come to a screeching halt. You turn to face your pursuers, panic bubbling up inside you. You must think of a plan, and fast. Chapter 9, Last Ditch Stand. You reach a dead end. You can feel the presence of the hive mind agents getting closer. Panic coursing through you, you quickly scan your surroundings for anything you can use as a weapon. You spot a crate with a heavy steel rod sticking out of it. You grip the rod with your full weight and as the agents round the corner, you two stances into battle position. You take a deep breath and try to stay as calm as possible. You know that if you panic they will just see you as an enemy. Taking a step forward, you open your mouth and try to reason with them. You explain why you disagree with joining the hive mind, citing their oppressive methods and lack of freedom. You see in their eyes that they understand what you're saying, but they're not swayed by your words. They tell you that the hive mind is the only way for humanity to survive and that you must join for that reason. They offer you a chance to prove yourself, an opportunity to join the hive mind and become one of their own. You have a decision to make, join the hive mind and become an agent or refuse and face the consequence. Chapter 10, Entrance Test. You accept their offer and are taken to a room for your entrance test. You find yourself standing in a spacious, empty chamber. Suddenly, the walls and floor begin to shape shift into various structures and objects, creating an ever-changing landscape around you. You have to rapidly navigate your way through it all while facing off against various obstacles, enemies, and traps. As the challenge progresses, you can feel yourself getting more and more sure-footed as you navigate the increasingly difficult course. Once you make it to the end, there is a sense of accomplishment as you realize that you have passed the test with flying colors. The hive mind flanked by a group of holographic projections offers you a strange, glowing crystal artifact. You take it in your hands and immediately feel its immense power. You can almost feel the knowledge held within it, and you know that its power could be used for both good and ill. 
You can sense a deep connection to the hive mind, and you understand that this is their way of rewarding you for passing the test. But how will you use the artifact? Chapter 11, The Power of Purpose. Who make the decision to use the power of the artifact to bridge the gap between the hive mind and the outliers? With its newfound strength, you begin to spread messages of hope and understanding to both factions. Through your efforts, many of the outliers come to understand the hive mind's point of view, and even come to respect it. The hive mind begins to grow more tolerant of those who disagree with them and the outliers come to understand that unity and compromise can bring balance to the universe. Despite their differences, both factions gain a newfound understanding of one another and a newfound respect for each other's values. The tide began to turn as more and more outliers embraced the message of hope and understanding. Despite their differences, they realized they could learn from the hive mind and, in turn, the hive mind could learn from them. With their newfound understanding, the outliers and the hive mind laughed, smiled, and worked together, bridging the gap between them and becoming stronger for it. No longer were the two sides struggling for dominance, but instead working together for a common cause. At long last, harmony and peace had been restored to the universe and the population, regardless of faction, were happier than ever. The universe was now a place of acceptance and tolerance and the people of both factions worked together to figure out the best course of action for the future. The newfound union heralded a new age of progress and understanding for all. The lessons that were learned in these times would be remembered for myriad generations to come, so that no one would ever forget what was sacrificed to restore balance and order to the cosmos. You, the protagonist, had played a vital role in this turnaround. You had made the bold decision to take a stand and bridge the gap between the two factions, knowing that the only way to true peace was through understanding. And understanding was indeed what was achieved. The people of the universe were finally united as one and were able to live out their lives peacefully and happily, knowing that no matter what their differences may have once been, they were now stronger together. If you're looking for unique and innovative audio content, Look no further than Sunset Made by AI. Our channel features a variety of audio novels and books that are all made using advanced artificial intelligence techniques. Whether you're looking for a thrilling mystery, a heartwarming romance, or an engaging adventure, we've got you covered. Each story is carefully crafted by our AI system to provide an immersive and unforgettable listening experience. So sit back, relax, and let Sunset Made by AI transport you to a world of endless possibilities. Welcome to the future of storytelling. <laughs>